When we manipulate an equation in this way, such that the result is the variable is all by itself on one side, in this case the variable x, we say that the variable is isolated. So you can fill that in in the notes. The variable is isolated. And when it's written that way, the variable is all by itself, the equation necessarily reads as our variable equals something else. And solving an equation typically involves isolating the variable. Isolating the variable and solving the equation are typically the same thing. Once it's in the form x equals something else, then we know x. x is that something else. So isolating the variable, that's a term that you'll hear a lot. That just basically means solving the equation. Getting it in the form that variable is equal to something else. Here's another example x plus 7 equals 21. We can solve this. We can isolate x by adding negative 7 to both sides. Right now we have x plus 7 on the left. If we rewrite it to say x plus 7 plus negative 7, then on the right we also have to add negative 7. I've added the same thing to each side, plus negative 7 on the left and plus negative 7 on the right. And as long as I do the same thing to each side, the equation stays balanced. It stays true, mathematically correct. And again, you can see that on the left, the plus 7 and the plus negative 7 cancel each other out. Those two add up to 0. So once we cross those out, x is isolated. And on the right, we have 21 plus negative 7. And that equals 14. So the equation is solved. So you see that we can use this concept of adding the same thing to each side to solve equations. And the main idea is this. We can add something, anything we want, to one side of an equation as long as we add the same thing to the other side. This concept can be stated as a general principle like this. I can say if a equals b, and a could be anything and b could be anything as long as they're equal. If a is equal to b, then a plus c is equal to b plus c. So you see here I have an equation a equals b, and I've added c to each side. That's the general idea stated mathematically. This principle is known as the addition property of equality. The examples we've looked at so far may, may strike you as being very simple, but this principle works even if the equation is very complicated, and we'll look at some more complicated examples next.